What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make coloured light leaks using Photoshop. So guys, as I said at the start in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make custom light leaks using only Photoshop. If you don't know what light leaks are already, they are very useful for things like banners, headers, avatars, anything really. I overuse them a lot, but they are definitely really useful. If you want some examples of work, I have used this in. Um, there's one there, there's one there and now there's one there but yeah you guys get the idea light leaks are definitely really useful so this tutorial will help you guys out a lot anyways guys before we do get into the video can i just ask very kindly if you can leave a like on the video that would be greatly appreciated if we can break 500 likes on this video that would be greatly appreciated as well also guys in this video i don't have face cam on it's purely because people don't like to see face cam on tutorials but if you do want to see it on tutorials then make sure to put that in the comments down below anyways guys with all of that being said let me move over to my computer and let's start this tutorial so guys as you can tell I'm now on my computer and the first step of this tutorial is of course to find an image to work with now the image can of course be your banner your header your avatar whatever you want to use but in this case I'm going to use a picture from the website pexels so this is the image I'm going to use here and all I'm going to do is right click copy image and import it into Photoshop so guys as you can tell I now have the image imported into Photoshop and I'm going to show you the two light leaks that we will be creating in this tutorial so the first light leak only only involves one color for this instance it is red and as you can see the only color we can see here is red it just fades out and it doesn't really change color the second light leak we have is in a different position and it goes from white to this sort of purple color and then it goes all the way to pink and that fades out there now in this tutorial I am going to show you how to make both of these light leak effects and they are very simple to make so first of all I'm gonna make this one color light leak here very simple and very easy to make so the first step so the first step is to go to the layer tab here at the top scroll all the way down to new fill layer and then select gradient from those drop down menus and you will have a separate window open up you don't need to touch anything here apart from the mode make sure that is selected as screen the opacity you can keep the same and everything else you can keep the same and just press ok once you are done now once you press ok the gradient fill tab will appear and this is the tab that we will be using a lot in this tutorial so the first step is to click on the gradient here at the top that will open up the gradient editor where you want to choose a color to transparent gradient now my gradients may appear different to yours but I have a red to transparent one here you may have a black to transparent it really just does depend on what gradients you have saved and if you don't have one already you can create a new one over here so once you have selected the foreground to transparent gradient you want to double click on the foreground color here and it will open up the color picker so you can choose purple blue anything you want so I'm going to choose a light blue color and press ok once I am done if you are happy with these settings press okay once again and now you can mess around with the style angle and scale personally I don't like to change the style because none of them work well but you can give them a go and see if it works for you after this we have angle so if we change the angle just using our cursor as you can see it will move the light leak into different parts of the image personally I think it looks good either on the left right or bottom so I'm gonna move it over here to the right hand side once you have chosen a good angle you can mess around with the scale so this will of course change the size of the gradient so if we move it down more blue will appear but if we increase it the blue will fade away I like to keep mine on 100% because I think it works really well and then once you have done that you don't need to mess around with any of these settings so you can press ok so now your first gradient is finished you have your first light leak and now we're gonna create the second one which uses multiple colors so in order to do this you want to go back to layer you want to go to new fill layer once again select gradient and make sure of course the mode here is selected as screen and you can press ok once again as before the gradient fill tab will open up and you want to click on the gradient and that will open up the gradient editor again so in order to create multiple colors you want to make this first color over here on the left hand side a full white color so double click make it white and press ok once you are done now you want to move your cursor a little more to the right around about here and double click and that will open up another color picker and you want to choose your first color so for this example I'm going to choose a light pink color and press ok once I'm done now you want to move the cursor over to the right again double click open up the color picker one last time and move your color to a different color of your choice so I'm gonna make mine purple press ok and now you can mess around with these colors you can 
can drag them personally I like to keep a little gap between each of them so I'm gonna leave it like that and press ok as I said before you can change the style but in my opinion linear works the best and I'm gonna move the angle over here so it appears on the left hand side you can also mess around with the scale as I said before this will change the amount of color that will appear on the image personally I always like to keep it at 100% another notice is that you don't always have to use the white you can mess around with the gradient but personally I think it looks really good how it fades from white to the certain color and if you want to reduce the amount of white showing then move the first color closer towards the white that's just an additional thing I would like you to know once you are finished messing around with the gradient press ok and as you can see you have your light leak you can mess around with the blending options but in my opinion as I said at the start screen is the best option so guys hopefully you did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like as I said before if we can break 500 likes that would be greatly appreciated also guys if you did make it this far into the video comment down below hashtag light leak squad and it will show me that you made it this far into the video as always all of my social medias are on screen now and also in the description down below also guys if you turn on bell notifications it's right next to the subscribe icon you will be notified every time I upload a video anyways guys that is it for the video as I said hopefully you did enjoy this has been visual or James and I'm out Peace. Different name